First at six debris falls from the abandoned plaza tower, creating a stir for drivers and pedestrians alike. That's right, team coverage tonight on this story. We begin with WDSU's Shay O'Connor. And Shay, do we know if anyone was hurt as debris fell to the ground? Now, you know, PD does confirm that a bicyclist was actually hurt, but we're, we're told at this time no non or non life threatening injuries at this time. Now, we're not sure exactly where this debris fell from from the building. I'm just going to take a step out of the way so that you can see the seed. You know, a PD says it appears that some marble fell from the very top of the building. This still needs to be confirmed, but if we can, let's go to that list of closures as a result of the debris that's fallen from the building Calliope to O'Keefe O'Keefe to Howard Barone to Howard and OPD asking for drivers to avoid these areas at this time. Now in OFD saying that some pieces of the building actually flew off because of the strong winds that we've been experiencing over the course of the day. But for now, as you can see, just a lot of traffic in this area. We will continue to keep you updated. But for now, just reporting live from the CBD Shay O'Connor WDSU News. All right, Shay, thank you. And WDSU Investigates just did a story about the lingering concerns about the abandoned building. WDSU's at Travers Mackle out on the scene as well with more on this towering dilemma. Travers. Hey there, Gina. A big question. Why can't this building just be torn just be torn down like so many in the city in the past? Well, the quest the answer to that question, it was deemed historic back in 2013 that makes it almost impossible to tear down but a lot of people feel like something needs to be done this is drone video taken recently of the plaza tower one of the city's and state's first skyscrapers it was built way back in the 1960s and it's been abandoned since the early 2000s when asbestos was found inside this building since then as wdsu investigates reported last month the building has been sold several times, usually for way under face value, but it's never been developed. It's actually gutted to the studs. It's owned by real estate magnate Joe Yeager and his son Ryan. They told us last month they'd like to redevelop it, but given the financial hardships of COVID-19, it's probably going to be a while before that happens. In the meantime, at least one councilman, Jay Banks, and neighbors say they feel this building is a blighted eyesore and a haven for the homeless. They spoke out to us one month ago. But I really wish that, that a developer would come in and do something with it. Now, we should point out the building does have a fence around it. And as Shea pointed out, the wind may have actually caused this debris to fall. For more on that, let's go straight to Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr. Margaret, the wind definitely was picking up out here moments ago.